Hello, I'm Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I have various free rolls for both the fairies and the beach event, because I love going to the beach in freezing October when it's pouring of rain. But nevertheless, free rolls are always a delightful time, and you know what? There's always a small chance that something magical can happen. The fairies did receive various buffs, like it should every time it's rerun. Maybe it will be an exciting flower. Okay, this is exciting because that's seven stars or higher. I forgot what the rarity is. That is so exciting! What the fish, gung-ho? Alrighty, good job, Fantastic. You are good at this game. But are you good enough to play with Vitelli? Vitelli hits how hard now? Four, five attributes, two TPAs. Scaling leader skill. Mmm, spicy. And actually has two skill boosts now? Amazing. Okay, good job, Fantastic. I did, I never really looked at her weapons that much because I didn't own one. Well, this has been a great start. It doesn't matter what I do now, it's always going to be a good time. I know, Blank. They need to increase the damage numbers, and now you need a calculator to calculate your damage output, I feel. Alrighty, hello to future you as well, Rain. Alrighty, so we now have a Remdra dressed in a bikini because this is definitely the right kind of weather for this kind of outfit. Alrighty. I didn't quite see blank, but like they do have various damage cap increasing abilities. So if we caress the hand, it has a chance of being better. So beach is a big hodgepodge of various cards. Don't, ooh, diamond. Now glow. Fantastic, why are you so good at this game? Why are you getting higher rarities all the time? A surprise for sure, but a welcome one at that, Denbola. I was just saying earlier, wait, I have two of you, why did it glow? I don't know why, I have two. For some reason I got more excited, but either way, in theory, two of these could technically help you get Shiva Dragons. I was saying, because someone's like, what's a good stuff for Shiva Dragon? Basically anything with at least a three turn or lower cooldown that makes red orbs. Beach Denbola makes that on a two turn cooldown. So two of those could, in theory, make a system for yourself that could do actually respectable damage because four seven combos and a super waking that probably helps it and she also has a funny big stat all right we have one more ladies and gentlemen oh to be fair you can't win everything although beach kiri was one of the chase cards last year to a certain extent i feel when like blackbird was it last year that Blackbird was a big thing? Was it only one year ago that, like, Black... Or was it two years ago? I've forgotten so much. Mm. Oh, fish. I didn't look at her weapon. Let's look at chronologically. I'm gonna look at the weapons to see if they got improved. So this nice watermelon... I remember this was a very popular watermelon for MD2. It was two years ago. Okay, Joshua. Still... Two years ago, it feels like. It seems so long ago, but it's not that long at the same time. Attack while below. This is now a deceptively high amount of damage output. If only there's a way to reliably activate it without killing yourself. But yeah, this watermelon, I remember, was a big thing for, like, Halloween... Was it Halloween... Ina and Tokoa, I can't remember which event they were from, but either way, the Dark Sub Attribute change made it MD2 with Mist Burns, I think, I don't remember, or is it Shikigamis, either way, I remember that was cool at some point before, and it's a lot of OEs, but nowadays, I feel like if you're playing like more endgame content, if it doesn't have team HP on a weapon assist, it's not that usable anymore, obviously, like, that's only counting like the super new stuff, but that's kind of the general statement, I'd say. That's true, Blank. He did get overshadowed for sure. Because when you think about it, Blackbird is by himself. C-Tona and, like, is Daytona and Seawolf getting together. Royal Oak and Nautilus got together. Blackbird is just sitting in a corner going, like, this is nice. Alrighty, so we got more beautiful rolls. Mantastic has Prim. They do have Kaishu, but I will take more. Why not? Diamond, glow for me. Are they always top rarity, or am I just getting outstandingly lucky nowadays? Oh, well, plot twist. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be, 
But at the same time, I won't say no to a 7-star Godfest exclusive. Who I guess does do damage. Like... 6 TPAs, 210 combos. I don't remember what the Super Awakening is. Maybe. She can be a cleric as well when you think about it. She is Awoken Bind and Unmatchable. But she has to be low health, which is kind of awkward. So it's kind of like, hmm. But either way, you make hearts and void orbs. So it could be worse, so to speak. And you feel like there's lots of plans for your boy Blackbird. Double TPA, cool. Does have pretty art for sure. Like, I do like kind of like the color recolors. It's nice seeing like a card that you're familiar with in a different attire. Like normally I like blue, but the green one actually looks quite nice. Like blue is my favorite color, but green looks quite good on her. Not sure why that's the case. That's a sword. Never mind. Oh wait, it will appear as a person in a moment. Mom, it's just my free rolls from all the various things. I would not recommend rolling in it, Mom, but they're just free rolls I have. So I'm getting my free rolls. Alrighty. So Pad Island always has the chance of something magical. Sometimes collabs can... Oh. Oh. Unfortunate, Foo. F you. You. Amusement dancer. I don't think she looks that amusing if she's dancing. She's not even dancing. Why do I have... I think every year I get a foo. Every year I get a foo, it feels like. Because I don't think I've ever actually rolled in beach. Like, truly rolled in the event ever. I always get the same freebie every year. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe blank, because it's true. Original is for blue and dark. Or blue and purple. You want to, You think Blackbird will have something cool in the future? Oh, no! Why are these free rolls? Okay, I guess Beach Kiri is coolish. I have two of her. I did use her ever so briefly and then never again. So now maybe I'll make her Watermelon? I don't know what I would do with her. But I have her again. Either way, I don't really think it's worth rolling in too much in any of these events they're not that exciting i like free rolls and i like just hoarding magic stones so with that being said hopefully all you lovely ladies and gentlemen out there in the youtube world have a truly fantastic day i wish you the best luck in your own pad adventures hopefully your rolling luck is solid as well and happy puzzling <laughs>